which brings us to today. And they're up against the clock, as well as each other. Both chefs have to cook their whole meal, course by course, for the judges to taste. I think they're in for some nice surprises. Paul's decided on a prawn cocktail starter, but these are no ordinary prawns. The French call them langoustine. Chrissy, London restaurant like Richard's call them langoustine. <laughs> In, Ar in Northern Ireland, we call them prawns. Prawns? Oh, I'm yeah, really yeah. surprised by that. And we get lo yeah. lovely ones from all that sort of uh, Irish Sea area, Strangford Loch. It's basically prawns with mayonnaise, a little bit of avocado, a little bit of salad, and a little sort of tomato salsa type thing. Mm. It's the most widely eaten um, British and Irish starter over the generations. So I thought it was a bit of fun to do it now for the Queen and worthy of her. And Richard's starter is firmly rooted in tradition, too. Well, I'm going back to nature. Organic smoked salmon with blini, wild sorrel and woodland cress. This is what I want to see. This is what you really want to see. I do, I do, I do. This has come all the way from Northern Ireland. Lovely. Smoked by a great friend of mine. This is the real McCoy. Paul's starter is going to be tasted first. Now, I think a really traditional British prawn cocktail would include limp shredded lettuce and Mary Rose sauce out of a bottle. Paul's version looks vastly superior, with its mashed avocado, tomato salsa and soft-boiled quail's eggs. It looks fantastic, and Paul's ready to get on with the competition. He's calm, but everyone else is getting edgy. The chefs have been working towards this moment all week long, and there's no going back now. First impressions count for a lot in this business, and Paul's off to a flying start. Well, it's very pretty, isn't it? Very pretty. Handsome. I think the whole thing's delicious. I agree, it's delicious, and it's quite an old-fashioned flavour, because today you expect almost a bit of chilli or um, some sort of sharpness, but it's very creamy, um, delicate, old-fashioned. Downstairs in the kitchen, Richard's under attack while he tries to prepare his starter. That doesn't look right to me, Richard. What's that? That cream. <laughs> you f It looks wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's going to split on you, mate. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> I need I need it. That's going to let you down. <laughs> I think it's a perfect lunch banquet dish. It's a foolproof dish. And I have to say that also it will be eaten with a great deal of pleasure. Absolutely. I think by, by a lot of people. I mean, I, I totally disagree with that. I mean, I, I really, for, for a starter, you know, for a large group of people, given that we're talking about British food and, and in this environment, you know, I would expect to see something a lot plainer. The hardest thing to do is to put a few things on a plate. That's and, true. This, and this is a fine example of what we're talking about. The judges will be ready for Richard's starter in just a few minutes' time, and Paul isn't making it easy. I don't know if they're going to be ready. Paul. Despite the pressure, Richard is ready, and even Paul has to admire the result. Looking lovely, Richard. When you dice with the devil, sometimes you get nice things. Sometimes the devil bites your ass, man. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's, that's where things is. Let's go. Oh. 